We're trying Dunkin' Donuts from around the world again. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Quick announcement. Today starts the final week of season 24. Mm -hmm. It's always bittersweet to come to the end of a season, but do not fret. We still got you covered in the weeks after. That's right. We're going to be doing our annual best of episodes and a batch of new marathons over the next couple of weeks, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Now, all the way back in 2018, we tried a whole bunch of Dunkin' Donuts from around the world. And of course, we guessed where those donuts came from via... Dart. But so many donutty developments have happened since then, so how could we resist trying even more? We couldn't. It's time for Where in the World Do These International Dunkin' Donuts Come From? Part two. Okay, boys, as always, you're gonna eat what's in front of you and throw your darts at the map to guess where you think it came from and chase the would you like coffee with that? Cartographer is going to measure how close you are to the correct answer. I like your um your your Dunkin' Donuts apron. It's, oh, thank you. It's, it fits also, well. got some new shorts. Oh, nice. Yeah, these oh. are my cappuccinos. Oh, dang! Get it, get it, y'all. He's like some coffee with that. These things are I, so effortless. We would love <laughs> some hot say. coffee, Chase. Oh, of course. And sure. while Chase is pouring that coffee, Stevie, just a, just a little note from season twenty-five. Uh, maybe you could just start saying, "Okay, men." <laughs> okay. What about sure, I'll try I'll try out an okay men uh in, in a future yeah. episode. What about fellers? Okay, fellers. All right. fellers. I'll put some more synonyms in, in my greetings. Oh, and of course Deuterinos. Well, don't push it. <laughs> because America runs on Duncan, today's loser must run laps around the studio at the winner's request in Good Mythical More. And Link, since you lost last game, you have a couple of advantage options yes. this time. Of course, the Vito Cheeto that hasn't been used in three games. Why should it? Or you can use the new running shirt, uh, shoe dart, that is, which allows you to place a shoe print wherever you want to on the map. That's pretty powerful. I, I suggest potentially using the shoe dart. And look at this. It is a, it is a is Dunkin'. It a it's a Dunkin' Donuts, well, Fila, mythical three-way collaboration. Oh, wow. So the, the color? Did we tell Fila? No. Not a sponsor. Okay. So you can go yeah, ahead and pull in I feel guilty not uh, using first this. First donut. Link, I'm gonna cut it for you. And me. Oh, Ooh. could you see that? Come out. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Did you see that? Ew, <laughs> gross. Uh, 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 uh. Is that the mouth of the? You get that side. That's the all, south. All the chocolate came out of that side. Since these are from all over the map, were these ordered or recreated by the kitchen? Recreated. Oh. Man, that's so. Oh goodness, chocolatey. Ooh, that's good. It's going everywhere. I think it's just normal chocolate with tater chips on top. But the potato chips seem to be specific. Specifically what? Pringles. They are Pringles. But we don't know if- I'm gonna leave this here, because I do, I- There's a question you're asking, is it a Pringles collab, like our collab with Fila for the- uh, Right. For that, or is it just the, the only chips that Trevor could find? You wanna go for a turkey, eh? I'm gonna go with the fact the that, it, that, it is, that it is Pringles. So where are Pringles enjoyed? <laughs> Probably worldwide. I'm pulled towards Canada and the United Kingdom, and then I'm equally pulled towards the Philippines and Australia. Oh, I'm pulled a little bit more east. So I'm gonna go Philippines. Or he's too high. feeling the pins, but he's too high. Too high, too tiny, too high. I disagree with your answer, so I'm not gonna use the veto Cheeto. I am feeling not the pins, but I'm being drawn to Australia. There's nothing wild about it. I mean, it's a very solid chocolate donut with just chips scattered on it. It really could Sc be yeah, scattered anywhere. Not even um, really placed, just kind of scattered. But why am I going for a country and a continent that is on such an extreme part of the map? Mm. Because that's what my gut is telling me. Follow your gut. And I gotta listen to it this late in the season. Australia, hello. Hello, boys. Hello, Dudorinos. There you go. Oh, oh no. dang. That almost right off the map. It was as if there was a breeze, a downward. <laughs> hey, Chase, did you blow? No, no. Did no. you create a nor'easter? I think Chase blew on that one. So weak. I, no, Chase, you, you poured hardly any like coffee, coffee in my cup. 
Hey, would you like some more coffee? Yeah. All right. I never I even saw you. just had a Pringles donut. The pillow-shaped donut with chocolate icing made by Trevor and chocolate filling also made by Trevor is topped with original Pringle... Pringles crumbles and was available for a limited time in a place where trendy and eye-catching desserts are all the rage, South Korea. Oh, oh man, you, you lucked into it. That's right, I lucked into it. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, I lucked into it. You really did. What do you mean? Why do you say it? Like I felt, I, I felt, uh, when I, I did, the thing I didn't say to you, was that I was talking about the Philippines and Australia and the can and Canada and the United Kingdom, the thing it was, it was secretly happening was that I was like, in South Korea, it was not a bad guess. And that makes three countries that are good guesses and two countries that are good guesses. And then I got lucky on the high throw. All right, Rhett, you had six. Mm, that's Link, not many. You had 33. Ooh, like the veto that. Too late! Whoa. Too late! Sorry. An orange one with it's a Halloween donut. It's got or just a fall donut. Yeah, but kind of strange. Oh, before you take a bite, would you like some coffee with that? No, thank you. Pumpkins oh. on top. <laughs> oh, that's that an is, orange icing. Yeah, it's not pumpkin at all. It's just super citrusy. Oh man! And then that gumdrop thingy. I mean, that is a pumpkin. You didn't even eat it. Well, I ate enough of it. Not pumpkin at all. But then it's pumpkin on top? Which is confusing, right? Because if it tasted like pumpkin, I would be like, Canada. Why? Because I don't really know how the world thinks about the fall outside of America. Like, this is almost like a Halloween donut, like the orange, mm -hmm. the pumpkin. And so I would be like, oh, do they bring out the pumpkins everywhere in the world around the, the fall? I don't think so. I think that's kind of like a North American thing, right? But, but, there, then, but when it's orange though, it throws everything off. Right. The flavor, I mean. So does that send us to the UK or does that send us all the way down to Australia? Maybe it's somebody who's like trying to do a Halloween donut, but then they culturally, they got kind of their wires crossed. It's not a bad guess, which could, and then you're kind of in like a Philippine situation. I think that actually, I'm kind of going back to where I was in the Philippines and Australia, also both of them making sense. There are two countries that- Go for the gusto, like man. Guesses. So I'm gonna kind of go in between the Philippines and Australia. Oh, almost hit Ooh, the Oh man, you're getting close to the peens every time. I think this could be Turkey, but when I think of Spain, I think of the color orange. Why is that, Link? Like. I don't know. I think that's the color of their soil. I don't know. Spanish soil is Bring orange. Bring in the paint, because I'm going to use my advantage now. Um, well, we have an early advantage use, usage. This is uh, I'm, I'm, unprecedented. I'm, I'm spanning Spain and Turkey, maybe trying to get a little United Kingdom in there. Wow, you're going to cover three countries with one shoe. But I do not think that you are right with Philippines. Okay. I am not feeling the peens. Oh, and then what? What's happening here? Would you like some coffee with this paint? No, thank you. But okay. let me taste Chase's coffee. Watch out, you're dripping off the back. Ooh. Did that go on you? It's good you, coffee, you Chase. You want to spot me by like holding that as like sure, a sure, yeah. So I'm gonna go this way, and then I'm gonna stay right Thanks, here. Thanks, Rat. And then I used my cool beans. Oh, there we Got go. Up, up, up. Yeah, and then you take that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Good job. You don't even have to move. This is really, Chase is doing most of the work here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna tighten this down. I am on the clock. Oh, and now, yeah, I did get it on my shoe. Oh. <laughs> All right, so now. Is it washable? Wash your, I'll just remember it forever. Now you get one press, not a double press. Oh, hey! And then a little. Oh, come on! <laughs> what? Are you serious? Not, I mean, that's not that bad. You almost got Spain. What? You almost got Spain. Hey, that where's was it. The, that was it. Where's the rest of the shoe? That was it, man. I think it's because of your angle. Yeah, it was your angle. Should have gone high, Stevie. Okay. I did get a little on my shoe there. Oh, but it matches. Right there. Yeah, it, it kind of looks cool. You just had the wicked orange donut. 
It's an orange glazed donut with pumpkin shaped gummies on top released as part of the 2023 Haunted Dozen Box for Halloween this year in the United Kingdom. Oh, oh right. Dang so, it. And and if the paint would have worked how I thought, I would have gotten zero. Yeah, true. You tried to cover it, but I, don't I complain too much. Covered it. Don't complain too much. You just that was that was a good round for I, you. I'm not complaining. I'm just incredulous. All right, <laughs> Rhett, you had forty one. Oh, that's a lot. Link. Gosh, I'm making it worse. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sorry about that. Would you like some coffee with that? I've done that. Uh, you probably gonna put some coffee on your shoe now. Link, you got six. Oh, good. Oh, but my shoe is permanently stained. Yep. Paint the whole thing blue now. But oh, before I cut this, uh, Stevie, just try it out. Just say like, okay, men, there's a there's a purple donut in front of you. I just want to see how it feels. Okay, men, there's a purple donut Weird. in front of you. Uh, I, Strange. I, I kind of liked it. It's like a sign on a restroom. <laughs> purple donut. Purple donut. With a little bit of, it's cakey. Whoa, what's going on here? What is that? You think it'd go well with some coffee? Actually, uh, you got any cream? Hmm. No, I, no, I don't. I'm, I'm sorry. Dang it! It's not really sweet. It's unusual. It's very cakey. It's unusual, Link. You're in the lead. You have to make your choice first. I took the lead. Yeah, man. I got like a lot on that last. I'll one. be dang. It's very flowery. Like the white stuff you turn into like other baked goods, not like something that has petals. Got it, it's like flour. It has a consistency of coconut, but there is no coconut in it because I wouldn't know that. What is that, is it taro? This might be the root of taro, which I believe is purple. I think they're putting that stuff all in things in Ethiopia. Also, Turkey, maybe a little bit of Spain. I don't know, I'm in that area. My guess is Ethiopia, but my throw is gonna be closer to Turkey, which might make it land in Ethiopia. Hmm. Well, this, this is, is Turkey. A. am excited, for one. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Well, what ha I accept that. Wow, you're, uh, did you? It's, it's fun. From this angle? Yeah. What happened? My quarterback days. Well, you've, <laughs> interestingly, you've, by putting your, Dart sideways, you've blocked, I can't even see turkey A anymore. <laughs> which that? was gonna be my guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I threw it from over there. See, I think it tastes like um, pistachios almost. You know, but like the taro is a good guess because- It is nutty, a little bit nutty. The closest thing I can track this to is like something that might be on like a baklava. So you're thinking turkey A too. Yeah, but and can I get closer? What if I hit your dart? What happens then? We I ever get, done that before? I get to put it back where it was. Well, your dart, I'm not gonna take your dart out. It's not out, shuffleboard. But I'm really trying to aim where your, I'm trying to aim where your dart is and try to get closer to Turkey A. Oh. Woo! Went high, went high. Like Michelle Obama. Yeah. When Link goes low, I go high. Uh, Stevie, before you, do would you like some coffee with that? Yeah, kinda. Okay. Oh. Thanks. Yeah, go ahead. You guys just had an ube cheese butternut donut. Oh man. A chocolate donut combining cheesy, coconutty, and ube e flavors. Mm. Thank you, Chase. Philippines. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> <sighs> so satisfying. Both ube and this donut originate in the Philippines. Mm. Oh, you didn't feel the peens. Yes, the purple ube. You can get that ube ice cream some places. Oh, bay. I think we were both pretty far away though. All right, Rhett, 31, Link, 35. Whew. Ooh, that was a close, a close game, close game. Bow, 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 bow. Today is a very special day. As you can see, I've been wearing the Christmas face pin which is our official pen of the month. You know, we've been doing this every month for all mm -hmm. of 2024, where you have 24 hours to go and get this soft enamel pen with a decorative card backing. Now, today is extra Rhett, special. Yeah, so there's yours. Rhett, did you say 2024? Yeah, 2024. <laughs> it's 2023. You're already in next year. I'm, I'm always in the future. We've been doing it for 2023. Yep. But today is even more special, because a lot of you have said, 
Oh man, I I was I was sick or I was out of town. I forgot about that one that was sold earlier in the year. And so we, in addition to selling this one, the Christmas face pin of the month, mm -hmm. we're selling every single pin from this year's pin of the month program is available for 24 hours. Take your pick. Anyone you missed, or if you want to double up and or give them as gifts or whatever, you can get any pin you want. He just told you, you know what year it is. Yeah, right. 24 <laughs> hours in 2023. And also, this right here, you can get this by the, the bulletin board. The cork display to, to board. Put, to put them all on. There you go. Mythical.com. 24 hours only. Now let's see if I can get this uh, donut to take a little crap for us. Four centimeters celebrate, uh, separate. Celebrate. And celebrate. They don't celebrate so soon, Link. You're only up by four centimeters. Watch out, I don't wanna cut you. I don't wanna cut you. That one didn't take a crap. This is a good looking donut on the outside. On the inside, I think we might have caramel. What do we have? Man, that's yep. a, this is, oh, there's more stuff in there. Chocolate white icing, uh, crushed walnuts. That's just a solid donut. Not a lot to go on here. You're still up, Link. You're still in the lead. Hmm. I could be feeling the pains again, even though it's now been taken. Yeah, well, okay, feel it all you want to. It's good to f say, it's fun to say. Because it's such an accessible design, mm. you know, nuts, chocolate, caramel, is it's pulling me either to like Canada or Australia. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say, Link. So, whatever one you pick, I'll just pick the other one, and that will be the that will be the game. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm putting the game completely in your hands. If you go Australia, I go Canada. If you go Canada, I go Australia. Should I trust him? That's a promise. That's a promise. I'm not going to copy you. I'm letting you decide. I'm going the opposite because you're right. We're, it is one of those two. Okay. So the thing that I'm really doing is winning or losing the game. Thinking about what my second choice is because. Australia is close to India and Ethiopia, which haven't been taken. Canada is close to Spain and kind of Peru. I want to say Canada so bad, but my heart is telling me Australia. But it already told me Australia before, and my heart betrayed me Ooh, at the very beginning. This is awesome. So that sends me back to Canada. Oh. <laughs> and then I start thinking. <laughs> <laughs> But should I give my heart a second chance? Ooh. I want to be the type of person that is about second chances. Be kind to yourself. And I want I want to be able to listen to my heart. Yeah. Science says if you caress your own face, it, it makes you feel better. And if you hug your own body. Yeah. Oh. Parasympathetic nervous system activation, something like that. I don't know. I read an article. <laughs> my heart sent me to Australia. Oh! And I and you have to aim for it. Oh, I swear to you, if you're going for Australia, I will. I'm going to do everything I can to land in Canada. Oh, that's oh, low. God. It's you, okay though. You've left the door that was open. Bad. That was bad, wasn't it? Shoot. I'm a man of my word. Just a bad throw. Have some coffee to help yeah, yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah. Chase is here to help. Hug that's yourself. Okay. Hug yourself. Okay. Watch out, Link. I'd love some cream, but <laughs> I yeah. should be able to hit Canada. I really should be able to. There it is. Did I actually hit red? Did it hit red? Only the most... Chase, we're gonna have to leave this up to you because this is completely inside of Canada, but it's technically in that water. I don't think you hit so Canada. So that's a no. <laughs> yep, that's a no. Damn. You gotta measure to the dot. But if he would've hit the red, you wouldn't measure to the dot, right? It doesn't matter. Correct, yeah. Okay. It doesn't really matter. You just had a delirium donut. It's a yeast donut filled with Manjar Blanco, a custard that resembles dulce de leche, and topped with chocolate icing, pecans, and caramel, Manjar Blanco filled desserts are popular in many Spanish-speaking countries, but this donut is from Peru. Ooh. Link, it was all in your hands, bro. It, was it wasn't caramel. Hands. It was like, it was like, uh, de leche, dolce de leche. There, there's caramel involved, yes. <laughs> Link, you had 59, Link. Rhett 30. Ooh. Oh, hey, hey, listen, it's not over. It's not over. <laughs> wow, that is an eye-popping donut. 25 centimeters, celebrate. I always wanna say celebrate the leaders. You wanna celebrate. Do you have a feeling you're still gonna win? You could. I could, yeah. Oh, and there is oh, something. There is a layer. 
in there. There's a layer of chocolate. It's like a Cookie Monster flavored, uh, at least colored donut. Hmm. I've never had a donut with just marshmallows on the outside like that. I like it. Gotta it, see what this is. It's very is. cushiony. What happened to your donut? <laughs> you dissect it? I'm trying to figure out what's on the inside of it. All right, Link, I've taken the lead. So little to go on here. Yep. There's not any unusual flavors in, in terms of, that's just blue, blue's not a flavor. Traditional marshmallows made from the hooves of horses and cows. Horses and cows all over the world. You can grind down a hoof in any country, really. There is no country where you can't grind a hoof. So what have we learned today, class? There's no country where you can't grind a hoof. That's right, Chase. Would you like some coffee with that? Would you like some coffee with that? Sorry, I forgot to. Oh! What are you going for? Well, I was not trying to go that far east. I was trying to go between the countries of uh, Europe and the countries of Asia. <clears throat> if this is South American, then I could win. I think if it's very East African, no, West African, then I could win. I was gonna guess Japan, but that's not on the right side of the map for me. I haven't seen this in America. The chocolate on the inside was very marshmallowy in its own right. Mm. Um, but again, you can grind hoofs anywhere, I've been told. Yep, I've heard that. Falkland Islands. <laughs> See if you can hit it. I just wanted to say it once in this episode. If you can, if you. I'm going for South America. If you can get Falkland Islands and you can bullseye it, I, you win the whole thing. I'm not doing that. Okay. I'm going for South America, I think I have a chance. There we go, a little high, that'll work. Well, if it's America, you probably win as well. Can I do it? You just had a cloudy ring donut. This donut is filled with nougat, topped with blue sugar icing and mini marshmallows. It's fun, fluffy, and can be found on current menus in the cloudy country of Austria. My, oh! Austria? Austria. Australia. Austria. <laughs> cloudy, it's so cloudy there. Oh my gosh. Nougat, I should have known it was nougat. A marshmallowy chocolate. Mm. But that wouldn't have helped me. Yeah, Rhett, 22, Link, 26. <sighs> well, that means I could use a Vito Cheeto next time. And you're doing a lot of running in Good Mythical More. That's right. <sighs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Devin, and it's my 30th birthday. I'm Eric, and it's my 36th birthday. We're playing the International Dart Game here in Nashville, Tennessee. And it's, it's time, time to, to spin the wheel of the you can grind hooves everywhere. You can play the game everywhere. Click the top link to see if we can give better relationship advice than AI in Good Mythical Moon. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Ho, ho, hold up. It's Mythical Pin Day. Shop December's pin of the month, my Christmas face. Plus any pin that you may have missed this year for a limited time only at mythical.com.